Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to introduce you guys to our new family member before today's episode of Silas's story. This is Mia and she is a nine week old golden doodle and she is the sweetest thing, you guys. She just wants to be held. She wants to follow me everywhere. She wants to be in my lap all the time. She is so cute, you guys. I am absolutely obsessed with this little girl. So we are so, so excited to welcome Mia to the Plum Baby family. Say hi, Mia. Say hi. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the next episode. Hello, hello everyone. I am so sorry that this video is coming out so late, but I have had so much going on and I did so much pre-recording uh, before I went on my business trip. And now that I'm back, I have uh, the new family member <laughs> that you guys saw at the beginning of the video. We have Mia. Um, so I've been taking care of her plus my kids and a hubby and things have just been craziness for the last uh two weeks or so so um trying to get back into the swing of things has definitely been rough but i am starting to finally get things together and i thought i had a video recorded and uploaded for today but it turns out i didn't um so when i realized that i was like oh my goodness <laughs> i've got to get a video recorded so um between uh, trying to take care of the kids and the new puppy um, and all of that trying to get a video recorded and edited today has been absolutely insane so um, just an FYI not a whole lot of drama or anything happening in Silas's household right now everything uh, everything feels pretty good now before uh, Laura goes to bed she does need to take some of her medicine so I'm gonna have her do that so she has taken her medicine and now she is going to head off to sleep um, she is still having some pretty severe pain from the surgery um, and it's been it's been rough on her so um, if you could see here, she has uh, an early midlife crisis, desire for excitement. Laura's feeling bored and wants more out of life. Things are just blah right now. Uh, she's pregnant? I, this just literally just showed up. Um, so she must have like maybe just found out. Um, I'm going to say Laura doesn't know right now um, that she's pregnant because I don't, I don't feel like she does. Um, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't feel like Laura knows right now that she's pregnant. Um, I can't believe she's pregnant. I, oh, I was not planning that. What is going on? I really, sometimes I forget that I have that um, relationship and pregnancy overhaul in um and i forget that like they can get pregnant just by regular woohoo you'll have to excuse me for a moment i hear my puppy whining in the background so uno momento <laughs> okay so so sorry about that uh little miss had to go potty so i had to go take care of that but so the thing is in addition to laura having a uh, pain from the surgery you know, she's been taking this medicine and it is, you know, it's an opiate. It is pain medication. Um, and I'm a little bit concerned um, because she's been taking it a little more often uh, recently than, um, than before. And I don't know that she is like, you know necessarily like abusing it or anything um i think that laura is doing her best to cope um the thing was is she um and i can show you in her milestones here she got fired from her job um she tried a 
a teaching method um, that was a little bit unorthodox, um, but she didn't do anything bad. Um, it's not like she she did a, a terrible thing um, or anything like that. It was just she did something that the school board didn't necessarily uh, approve of. And um, so she is going to make a looking for work post um, and see if she can hopefully uh, find somebody that maybe knows where where she could possibly get a job. Um, because, I mean, they have money in the bank, but they also demonstrating adequate entertaining talent could mean that is the ideal that the ideal career for Lara is an entertainer. Okay. So does that mean she needs to get a job in like the entertainment career? Is that what they're saying? Education, recently let go from this career. Okay, well, let's do the entertainer then. So she needs to write jokes and practice music. Um, let's have her go ahead and let Skyla out, and uh, we'll have her clean up the the high chair and stuff as well. But yeah, things have things have definitely been a little bit crazy um, since Lara lost her job. But like I said, they they have some money, um, but you know, Silas hasn't picked up any gigs recently. I'm not sure if she's handling it the best. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, but she definitely has not been feeling the best. Um, and so I think I am going to have her come and uh, use the use the restroom. And I think she probably, this is the point where she's going to take the pregnancy test um, kind of thing. Uh, so she kind of has just found out that she's pregnant and she's, um, to be honest, I, I think she's scared, but I think she can't feel the nerves uh, because she just took that pain medication. <laughs> uh, and I don't think she can she can feel uh, much of anything at this point. But, you know, it's fine. Um, I do want Silas. I really don't want Silas to do that. I, I feel like Silas has been doing a lot lately, and so I'm going to have him just come in and change his outfit. We're going to have Lara uh, give Skyla a bath, and she's not going to tell Silas yet uh, that she's pregnant. Um, I don't think she really wants to yet. I think she needs some time um, to kind of think about it, and then maybe she'll tell him tonight um, at dinner or something, um, but I just don't think that she's that she's quite ready for that yet. Uh, Lara's in an early midnight crisis. Life seems to be passing Lara by these days. It's the same thing day in and day out with nothing to really to show for it. It might be time for a change. So in addition to, you know, struggling with um, healing from this surgery, uh, and everything like that, she also has an early midlife crisis <laughs> coming on. So, I don't know. I don't know. It just, uh, I, it worries me for her. Like, I feel like she's just going through so much right now and finding out that she's pregnant, um, you know, on top of everything else, I just, I don't know. It just seems... It just seems crazy to me. You know, she's, I feel like she has worked so hard and she has come so far. Um, and I don't, I don't want to see her lose it all. I'm just, I'm really worried about her. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this is what she spends most of her time doing. She spends most of her time in bed asleep. Um, and I think part of that is definitely due to the pregnancy. I mean, first trimester uh, pregnancy tiredness uh, will kick your butt. Uh, any person that has ever been pregnant um, would would absolutely tell you that, that. That that first trimester 
it really takes it out of you. It's <laughs> it's a it's a rough go in that first trimester. And if you have the morning sickness um, on top of it, God bless you because I don't know how I would have handled it. Because thankfully, uh, both my pregnancies, I definitely did have the tiredness, but I was not um, physically ill really with either of my kids. So that's a plus for me. You guys, Laura looks absolutely beautiful honestly this dress looks incredible on her oh my goodness okay so silas is headed inside to go ahead and grab them a table um i kind of would like them to have a table that's i really would have liked them to have that table because it's kind of tucked away in the in the corner kind of away from everybody um but but i think this is fine let's go ahead and request that table and let's go ahead and have lara come inside because i don't want her freezing to death outside um let's have her go ahead and use the restroom and then of course you know silas will make sure that they get their table all right, so it looks like Lara and Silas finally have their table. So Silas is going to come and sit down, and they're going to go ahead and order because I feel like I don't want the food to take forever. <laughs> um, now, this is where Silas is going to start to get a little, um, a little, like, suspicious um, because Lara is just going to get an iced tea. And he is going to grab the chef's choice, uh, a Long Island iced tea. And then for dinner, let's just skip to main course. Now, because she's pregnant, I don't think she can have raw fish. Um, I think Silas is probably going to go with um maybe the sweet and sour pork for him now normally when they come here Laura's absolute favorite absolute favorite is the salmon nigeri but it's raw salmon and so this time she's gonna go maybe with i'm thinking maybe some like a ramen or maybe she'll do the artesian uh, fish trio. And Silas is going to ask, like, why didn't you get the salmon Nigeria that's your favorite? And she's, um, you know, she's probably going to say, well, you know, I've been meaning to tell you, um, um, She's like, well, I've been meaning to tell you, I'm a little bit worried, but I am pregnant. And he's like, oh my gosh, Laura, you're kidding. You're, you're pregnant? Really? I, I don't think he can believe it. I think he's a little bit in shock. Um, and so he's probably going to you know, ask about the pregnancy and just say, like, when did you find out? You know, I'm I'm so happy. She's like, yeah, I'm, I'm still in my first trimester. So, you know, it's still early, but I, I am excited. Yay, here comes our food. It really didn't take that long at all. It looks like she really is excited. So eat and learn experimental food. So they've talked about the meal and they have finished their food. So I think Silas is going to come in and use the restroom before they head out. And Laura is going to go ahead and come up and uh, pay for their food. So she's just going to kind of wait out here uh, for Silas once he gets done. Okay, pause. Are you guys seeing this? Are you guys freaking seeing this right now? Break up with Silas. 
Laura fell out of love with Silas, and even though it's hard, Laura knows the right thing to do is have an honest discussion so they can both move on. <sighs> you guys, what? What? Like, they've just had this wonderful evening at the ho- like at the restaurant. I almost said at the hotel, but like at the restaurant, they have enjoyed their date. They had a great date. They had a wonderful night out. I don't understand. I have no idea why she would want to break up with Silas. I don't know. It just, it doesn't, something's not adding up and I don't know what it is. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. So first of all, Silas is going to have to put this one to sleep uh, because there's no way she should be, uh, she should be this awake, but he's going to come in and go to sleep and she just kind of told him, you know, I'm just, I need to use the bathroom and, you know, and take a shower, um, kind of, you know, get my makeup off my face, all that kind of stuff. Um, and he's like, yeah, okay, that's fine. You can definitely see her belly kind of starting here. Um, but she's going to take um, another one of those uh, pain pills. And even though she's pregnant and she doesn't know how that could affect her pregnancy, um, she's telling herself uh, that she's in pain. And so she's going to take one anyway. All right. So now that she has taken her medication, she is definitely feeling much better. And so she is going to come in and, you know, have a little New Year's woohoo, you know. What's the worst that can happen? She's already pregnant. I really got to be better about putting my Sims on birth control and stuff with this mod in because these unwanted pregnancies, this and with Kendra, like it just totally threw off my, threw off my groove. <laughs> really wasn't sure what was going on there, but I think we are going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. If you are new to the channel, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I put out new videos every other day. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys think that, you know, what you guys think about this whole whim that she's got to break up with Silas. I'm going to keep that pin there um, until I hear back from you guys and kind of get your opinions on what that's all about. So... I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.